Hello everyone and now welcome to a game Colorful vs Blade and this game taking place here on Last Refuge on the bottom left hand side of the map Colorful spawning as the blue night elf um, you know quickly putting a building here on this sky logo meanwhile over here on the top right hand side of the map we have Blade um, spawning under the name Unique all right yellow human going up against a blue night elf 1v1 matchup and i do hope to get my over the overlay and everything else set up properly later anyways let's go ahead and break things down in this matchup moonwell altar of elders ancient of war meanwhile off on the top right hand side of the map altar of kings of barracks it looks like it will be standard based play as things are now unfolding all right let's go ahead and speed things up to um, no, four times speed get the workers going to where they need to be it is going to be an archmage versus a demon hunter here demon hunter has been able to ridic creep out ridiculously fast with the introduction of immolation not too long ago meanwhile the archmage gonna go ahead and do that tried and true throw a fireball or uh, drop a water elemental throw a fireball sort of strategy as he as he didn't engage first with the archmage and knowing that well you don't want to summon up that water elemental and then have it ensnared ensnared units generally do not get aggroed and well that's part of the reason why that water elemental is there to take a little bit of that damage and protect the remaining units all right force troll trapper who's gonna get the last hit it looks like the footman got the last hit right there archmage a little bit closer to level two coming back around demon hunter uh well needs a little bit more experience to get to level two as to be expected as the archmage tries to finish off this forest troll high priest once that gets taken down it will give level two to the archmage and i am expecting however well immolation now being used there who got the um who got the kill did the demon hunter no it looked like there was an exclamation point um getting the kill there all right, more damage just getting well, applied to that Demon Hunter. And now that Archer, as Colorful, is retreating back. Demon Hunter does not have Boots of Speed yet um, as he well, looks to pull here. All right, nice Sentry Ward position in a, in a way. Spotting onto that high ground. Colorful must know what Blade has done. Very, very unique sound when you place that Sentry Ward. And with that Sentry Ward right there, well... Blade will be given or privy to much information whether he travels north or south. Coming back down across here, Archmage trying to get away from that illusion. The, uh, that illusion able to disrupt a lot of creeping just because it's able to, well, um, keep track and keep tabs on that Archmage while at the same time being able to wake up creeps safe reason why uh, illusioned units can actually um, disrupt healing salve and any of those regeneration abilities the illusions can also wake up creeps even though they're not dealing any damage A player's forces are under attack. back off to the north here tech to tier two nearly done for blade meanwhile colorful also nearly done no signs of expos so one base play is in order Coming back around, Archmage going to get ready to engage here. All right, there goes an immolation trying to well, chase down some of those units. And really, both of these sides are just trying to, um, well, uh, pick each other apart, not make mistakes while not letting their opponent play the game that they want. Colorful, it appears he wants to try and level up his units. And, well, the Demon Hunter, every time he gets and turns on and off Immolation, able to apply a little bit more damage to those footmen in that, in, in that melee distance. Meanwhile, Demon Hunter still double backing around and trying to perhaps go after that Rifleman as the footmen are now looking to retrieve back again. Water Elemental able to get in some splash damage there. Demon Hunter trying to perhaps... Let's see the new patch human buffs. Yeah, uh, well, no, n this is not the latest patch. So um, I will have to upgrade it to the latest patch um, soon. Just trying to get some of these replays that I have cataloged to view before um, before anything. I'll probably ha um, will also switch and study the new replay patches, re patch notes, and 
um, well, and those replays as well. Uh, for a long time, I tried to keep up on patch notes, even on the PTR, but because PTR would change patch notes so regularly, uh, it, it felt like almost a waste to try and know what was happening on PTR because some of those changes would be reversed or tweaked or going back and forth until um, I was unable to keep up with the updates. Um, finally, just saying, you know what, I'm, I'm, once those patch notes are released in final production, then I'll go after that here. Colorful actually investing quite a bit of time and hit points trying to take down that one rifleman and that Demon Hunter, well, down to 219 points. Was the juice worth the squeeze there? It might be if he gets a second Rifleman, and that does seem to be the case. All right, that Rifleman looks like it will get taken down. No, one more shot from the Naga C, which would have been enough as the Rifleman able to escape back at four, maybe five hit points or six hit points now with that natural regeneration. Yeah, this replay is a little bit older. Um, from a previous event before Thanksgiving, uh, or well before Thanksgiving, and wanted to cast this before I um, well saw any of those um, saw any of the replay or human buffs or any of the latest patch notes. Coming back through, quick in snares, colorful, getting some nicely gift wrapped footmen for an early Christmas present. Get able to get some experience here. Level two, level one, going up against level two, level one. Demon Hunter has much more experience here as the um, Ancient of War actually rooted in position with fortified armor should be able to um, well uh, should be able to protect itself easily as the Archmage, Naga Sea Witch, and Rifleman are still doing minimal damage. Um, good day, Flynn. Hey, God, smile. Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in still. All right, Rock Golem now looking to fall back again here. And Colorful, uh, it feels like he's not quite sure what he wants to do. Same thing with Blade. They're doing this little bit of a dance going back and forth against each other. And by going up, uh, up and down against each other here, trying to see if the other person is going to fall out of step, so to speak. Or like Murloc Huntsman, are we going to see Immolation get activated? Yeah, as soon as there are at least two or three targets, it makes sense to activate Immolation. Druid of the Claw is going to have a high, um, high priority target on it until it takes, um, until it gets into that mastery training. A four supply unit with only 505 hit points until it transforms into a bear. In fact, a big deal. Demon Hunter sitting at level 2, Naga Sea Witch still sitting at level 1. There's a quick roar here as the Demon Hunter does have rejuvenation as the Archmage and the Naga Sea Witch are trying to clear out a relatively easy creep camp. Quick slow cast onto the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter unable to play the fast game trying to do hit and run tactics as it seems to be running in slow motion. Water Elemental, is it going to get taken down by creeps? It will. There's a gift wrapped Rifleman but the Colorful and his army does not seem to be able to unopen it this time around even as well the force troll trapper is able to finish off a footman there both sides still engaging again sorceress gets taken down easily as the colorful should be able to finish off the remainder of this creep camp here one troll trapper down another troll trapper down are we going to get a double level up we are indeed and suddenly the 2-1 army mirror match has become 3-2 greatly in favor of colorful Colorful still trying to chase, perhaps. Going to go after um, some of these. Finishing off a Water Elemental. Demon Hunter gets a little bit more experience. And Colorful is just keeping Blade away from gaining experience. And that is turning into a big, big advantage. Taking down the creeps, getting the gold advantage, and perhaps even the item advantage as well. Demon Hunter now backing away here. Perhaps going to try and go after this Ogre Lord. Are we going to look at um, well, a little bit of a little bit of Dryad Poison coupled with a bit of Naga Sea Witch slow. Ogre Magi going to get cleaned up here. A little bit of Divide and Conquer as the Naga Sea Witch already halfway up to level 3. Uh, Archmage and Naga Sea Witch here should be able to get to level 3, level 2 um, quickly. If they g clear out one more creep camp, perhaps that high ground creep camp right, right by the laboratory. Naga Sea Witch is at level 2 here. Should be able to get to level 3 even with the Demon Hunter nearby. So dual level 3 heroes for Colorful. Come on, don't make me a liar. There we are. Dual level 3 heroes coming fr in from Colorful. Meanwhile, off to the north here. Level 3, level 2 now as Blade picks up a very important healing ward. 
All right, in a tight, closed traffic area like this, placing down a healing ward in the back position is a very big deal. Fork Lightning coming across here. Demon Hunter going after a Rifleman, unable to finish it off. Going after a Priest now, unable to finish it off. And, well, that... Uh, well, Demon Hunter looking more like a cheetah, trying to chase down units, and then constantly switching targets, getting distracted, unable to kill either. Demon Hunter now forced back to, well, forced back with a scroll of town portal, and well, minimizing the losses for Blade. Yeah, sometimes the the cheetah, the fastest animal out there, doesn't always necessarily get its prey compared to. Um, I believe what well, I, I want to don't quote me on this. I'm not National Geographic um, let's Say a lion lion doesn't get distracted nearly as much doesn't try and well switch targets and because of that um, actually has um, is, is known more of uh, I guess I want to say king of the savannah because lions don't live in jungles Coming back around, Nog, uh, Demon Hunter getting up to level 4, picking up an Ankh of Reincarnation. Four straw High Priest while standing there, just trying to heal himself up, not the way to do it. Back off on the north, Blade sitting at level 3 here, Archmage sitting at level 3. We could have a potential level up as the Archmage well, decides to not go after those creep camps and instead go into this last refuge location, this high ground red creep camp which would give that Archmage level 4. This would be a very big deal. Naga Sea Witch going after that Ogre Lord. And what item is dropped? It is a Helm of Valor, Strength and Agility for the Intellect based hero. Forest Roll High Priest about to get a shot down here. Meanwhile, Archmage, um, well, should be able to get to level 4. Level 4, level 3, especially as more creeps are coming in from the other side. That healing ward really providing a lot of um, active healing as the Archmage gets to level 4 for that level 2 Brilliance Aura. A hunting success. Oh, oh, Cheetah is actually higher. Oh, alright. I'm sorry. Alright, I am not National Geographic. But then why are Cheetahs so scrawny and lions look like they just are, are so much healthier, right? All right, some of my analogies don't always work. Coming back around, La um, Ogre ogre Warrior getting taken down here. Both bears in that frontline spot should be able to rake down those riflemen. However, slow has been applied to all of these bears here, making them, well, move more slowly. Right uh, um, As the militia are now trying to charge in, Demon Hunter in that front spot, Fork Lightning coming across from both sides, uh, um, still able to uh, well, apply damage, and perhaps uh, Druids of the Claw need to start getting Staff of Preservation. Archmage, Scroll of Town Portal to retreat back. One Druid of the Claw taken down. There's a Staff of Preservation there as the Demon Hunter and Naga Sea Witch sits at level 4. All right. I was trying to make a strong, good analogy and then realized I'm no animal expert. So thank you, Flynn, for the correction. Um, I will have to forget that little analogy as it doesn't always work. But I don't know. Doesn't it seem like a lion eats better than a cheetah? D wouldn't you think that? Sometimes these tangents are just as fun as the main game. Sometimes. Coming back down here. Well, Druids of the Claw. Demon Hunter sitting at level 4, level 4. Colorful, ready to... Um, ready to engage a um, unique or blade and now sitting at level four level three lower on the overall um, hero level advantage Li okay so lions hunt by group so um, they don't share I guess I don't know M maybe maybe some cheetahs I don't I don't know. I don't know. You never see beefy sprinters at the Olympics. All very lean. That is true. That is true. All right. Coming back through um, Healing Ward in the back. Able to, well, uh, position nicely. Goblin Zeppelin picking up heroes and lower hit point units. Dropping them in the back. And then as they drop them, well, should be dropping them. Getting that Healing Ward going. Another Fork Lightning going here. As a Druid of the Claw going to get taken out. Demon Hunter in that frontline spot, though. With Immolation and completely surrounded by Riflemen. A lot of damage being done there. A lot of separation trying to be initiated as the Naga Sea Witch gets off another Fork Lightning. Only to see it be... 
erased by another um, scroll of healing. Both sides still engaging here. There's a Fork Lightning taking down multiple units there, and that may be the game. Colorful coming out on ahead, even though he was behind. Um, I was he behind? Oh, no, Colorful was always out ahead, especially with those hero levels advantage. Level three on the Demon Hunter, level two on that Naga Sea Witch, going up against level two, level one. Just able to constantly keep that pressure up, keep it going. Overall, Gold Mind was very similar, but in the end. Colorful and that Night Elf army able to pull away with the victory. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.